Okie dokie. Make sure the old microphone is straight. And get a do something about the makeup department here. It's been a while since we've done one of the live sort of unboxings. And uh, for this one, I, I was uh, browsing eBay and there was this, uh, it, was a, it was an old lot of pocket knives and I think there was 30, if I remember the listing correctly. And it was like 40 bucks. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna bid on that, that's cool. And uh, I bid on it like up to, I think, $50 and I won it and I was really surprised. And then when I, um, you know, the, the listing was over, I realized there was a $30 shipping charge. So I paid like $82, $83 for this. And I didn't really look too closely at it. I know there was some, I want to say some Uncle Henry's and some Shrades. They are old guy knives. So if you were looking for a box of cold steels or a box of cool switchblades. Well, that's that's not what this is. These are these are all slip joints, as far as I can tell. Maybe there maybe there's a few with a liner lock, but um, it's kind of mystery. I haven't looked at it too much, so this is a this is a fun unboxing of stuff that I spent eighty bucks on that I probably shouldn't have and that are gonna go in a in a knife drawer somewhere. Okay, let's uh, let's get started here. It's about the excitement. We're gonna have a little bit of excitement here. I don't remember the listing very well. I was kind of distracted at the time. We were, I don't know what the hell this is. This is for white balancing. I hope white balancing was okay. All right, so we got that. It's gonna be fun. I don't know what to expect in here. Maybe there's a big pile of shit. <laughs> uh, literally, not figuratively, not figuratively. Okie dokie, we got just uh, how's the framing? We got, that's it. Okay, they're all wrapped up in a priority thing. $30 for this, I feel like I was, I feel like I was ripped off a little bit, what do you think? Okay, we're about out of battery on my B camera over here, so we'll see how well this translates. I wanna try to Try to expedite the process a little bit and try not to ding. Try not to ding my edge. All right, here we go. Another wrapper. How about that? Hmm, it's nice and sharp. It took me a long time to sharpen this. Let's see. It's about the anticipation. And we got a baggie of a bunch of bullshit. And they look pretty rusty. How about that? Surprise, that's what I get for not, not reading the uh, description. And you know what, we're gonna do them one at a time, okay? We're gonna do them one at a time. Um, yeah, here we go. What brand is this? What are we looking at here? We are looking at Japan. I don't know if you can see this here. Yeah, we got a little bit of a, can you see this here? It's got some fake mother of pearl. It's pretty rusty. You got a little two blade guy here. We got a little pen blade and a, I don't know, a clip point of some sort. I remember uh, reading one time they called California clips, uh, ones with the longer clip. I don't know if that's accurate or not. It doesn't really matter at this point. I mean, you don't come to this channel for accuracy. You come for the handsomeness. Um, <clears throat> not really impressed with that one. I don't know what, can someone do the math for me? 30 divided by uh, 80. How much do these come out to? Ooh, okay, okay. We got an Uncle Henry here. I do remember this. This had a little box. They showcased the box because it was probably the nicest thing in there. And it probably, you know, if you didn't read too closely like I did, um, it would have been maybe one of the highlights. You're like, oh, this is not too bad. And then the first thing you pull out is this piece of turd. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the edge away there. All right, so we got an Uncle Henry here. We got a two blader, um, I believe. Nope, I take that back. We're we're doing a three blader here. Uh, fuck. Is this a Stockman? Is this a Stockman pattern? I feel like they call these stock, but it's like mini. Got a Warren Cliff here. Uh, when was this made? USA Shrade. 
So this is a, does it say Schrade on there? I know Uncle Henry and Schrade are intertwined. Yes, yeah, Schrade, Sh Suede, Schrade USA. Um, this one's in pretty good shape. It doesn't really look like it's been used and the edges, edges are factory. We got some factory edges here. So, you know, I guess that's not, I don't know if this is worth like five bucks, but whatever. All right, here we go. We have Say It With fuck, Flowers. Say It With Flowers. Rose Growers. Say It With, I don't know if it says flowers or not. It's kind of, it's kind of, uh, kind of rubbed off. Looks like we are missing a pin on this end. Uh, was it a two blader at one point? I don't, I don't think so. You know what? That was probably for a bale. How about that? And this thing is rusty as shit. So, uh, this is a, my fucking rusty eyes. Camillus, Camillus, Camillus. It doesn't really have a half stop. It's just, uh, okay. Not doing too well here for 80 bucks. Now this one, this one is kind of interesting cause it has a, um, I don't know, some sort of engraving on there. It's pretty intricate. Um, I'm sure this is some cheap mass produced bullshit. It is an Imperial, Imperial Ware. International group, Germany. Okay, Germany. Uh, does it really mean anything? Who cares if it's Germany or not? I don't know why that's a thing. Um, it's kind of rusty on the inside. We got, is that a, is that a backlog? Is this another blade over here? What are we looking at? Is that a back spring? I feel like there's something on, oh, look at that. It's a, it's a nail file. So this one's a little, a little intricate. We got two, we got a, somebody fucking, somebody broke the tip off that one. Look at that. And a little pen blade here. This is a, this is also a piece of crap. All right. This one looks like I would get a disease from it. It's uh, the house is empty right now. It's the only reason I can do this. Uh, I didn't think I was going to get a chance. This one is an old electrician's knife. Uh, looks like it was found on the floor of a fucking old barn somewhere. So I don't know. It's got the uh, liner lock. I had a Cam I have a Camillus like this, and this is a. Fuck if I know. Let me get my light here. When your eyes don't work well, you use the macro on your iPhone, right? Come on, you piece of shit. There's not enough light in the room. Rudiger? A cut master. It's a cut master. I don't know who that is. It's like a uh, cut master with a K. I feel like we got some wood scales on here. These are, sorry, covers. These are wood covers. We got some wood covers on here. We got your little fucking God damn nail ripper. We got, how long is this video gonna be? Is this a big waste of everyone's time? Yeah, I don't know. It's a little fucking flathead screwdriver and I don't know, I don't know if these are supposed to be sharpened on my other electrician's knife. It's about as dull. Maybe it was a wire stripper at some point. I'm sure someone will correct me and tell the proper use for it as to what it is, but this is an electrician's knife. I do know that. That is what I do know. You got your little bail here. And uh, I don't know if you can see that there. Not doing too well so far. This one, this one has a shield on it. This is nice, okay. We got um, some, some synthetic handles of some sort and oh my God, it's gonna fucking, this one is fucking glued in there. I have my Leatherman now so we can open the blades. We're gonna fucking just pry these bastards open. You have your Leatherman so you can open other knives. Uh, this one's, I don't know. I don't know, it's like some sort of fucking piece of plastic over over steel scales, so that's pretty, that's pretty expected, huh? This one is a, just has some fucking serial numbers on it. It's USA, okay? Good old USA. And it's just a bunch of numbers. Uh, I don't know what brand this is. Who cares, right? We got that piece of junk. We just got a whole bunch of pieces of junk in here. Okay, this one, this one has potential. 
Um, it looks kind of handmade because if you notice there, the, uh, the scales are definitely not contoured. I don't know, maybe this is how they did it back in the day. This is Japan. That's what it says. It's ugh, fucking rusty as shit. I feel like I'm gonna wind up cutting myself on this. Yeah. It's a pruner blade. We got a pruner blade here. Super exciting. Okay. The yellow one. Not doing too well here, everybody. We got a Camp King. Okay. Oh, this one's got a little bottle opener. We got, uh, <clears throat> we have a also missing bale here. Um, and I don't know what that's called. Some sort of blade. It looks like we're, we have a blade that is completely snapped off in there. And uh, can opener. It tells you what it does in case you can't figure it out yourself. Would this open a bottle? I don't know. I don't have a bottle nearby. Okay, this one's kind of gross. Um, scales are, I don't know, aluminum, sheet metal, tin. Uh, we got a yellow one here, a yellow knife. Yellow scales, this one is, this one's USA. When things were made in the USA, when trash was also made here, trash is still made here. Um, I don't know what to tell you. This one's like fucking plastic. It's got a little oval shield here. Um, I have, there's one, one knife in here, the Uncle Henry that looks like it's worth a shit so far. Everything else is a big, fucking pile of turds. Uh, this one, this one kind of looks like a Camillus. I have a Camillus, at, a Bowie Scout knife that sort of looks like this. This is an Ulster, so I was wrong about that. Okay, so we got some plastic scales and quite a bit of rust on this one. It's real stunner. Um, this one, also rusty. Also rusty, this is, I can't even read it. I see USA down there too. It's Oh, it, it's like identical to this one almost. So we got two, they're the same size or, yeah. All right, moving on. This one is just break them down and throw them in the recycling for scrap metal. This is a USCG. It's got a fucking, like somebody burnt a hole in it right there. It's kind of charred. Somebody dropped it in the campfire. Didn't throw it away though. Thank you for not throwing this away, whoever it was. Um, this one is a, we have a lock back. We have a Hong Kong stainless rust, rustiri, rustiri, Hong Kong. It's got brass, it's got some fake wood bullshit, and it's got a lock back. Is the lock back easy to disengage? It is. Um, we got another Camp King. We have two Camp Kings so far. This one, this one here includes the bale. Okay, we got a bale in our Camp King here. Um, real excited about this. This one looks rusty as shit too. We got our can opener. Are, are they different sizes? Yeah, they're slightly different sizes. You see that? They're not exactly the same knife. So I'm getting, I'm getting, a, I'm getting real value out of this. Ugh. Ah, I'm gonna come down with a mystery illness and no one's ever gonna fucking... So the flathead screwdriver wedged in there somehow. All right, I think we've seen it. Uh, this one, it's real nice. It's got some fucking... We got some what looks to be contact paper for the uh, covers. So we do have a bottle opener in there. Okay, so um, we got some pitted stainless steel. That's impressive. I don't see any rust there. Maybe it was, uh, it's like cast or something. Got a, got a fucking bale. Got a bale. Uh, this one right here, this one looks like it's, is it moldy? Do we have mold on this one? I think we got mold. This is also a complete piece of crap. Are we looking at an electrician's knife here? Let's pull the old Leatherman out. Yep, it's another electrician's knife. We have, that's not the electric, we have two really disgusting electrician's knives. Why did I bid on this again? I didn't look very closely at this at all. This goes to show you, I wouldn't have wasted my time. This is a, oh God, $80. What the fuck is wrong with me? Um, this is USA, USA's finest. 
Are we a little rosy about the manufacturing that took place in the USA? Because I wouldn't be proud of this. Um, I don't know what this one is. It's unbranded. We got some Ulster. We got an Ulster here. We got, you know, how many Ulsters do we have? Ulster sounds like ulcer. Okay. All right. This is a TL29. We got ourselves a K bar here. TL29. This one, this one may have potential. This one looks like it could be cleaned up. It's really disgusting. It's got rust, but overall it's intact. It is another electrician's knife. We must have had an electrician here in the family. Somebody died and this was on the floor of a barn in a rusty, oily box. So the K-Bar, this is, you know, we got two, two decent knives out of this. Definitely not $40 knives. We got a, another Camp King. We got some campers here, right? Apparently a bunch of bullshit. There's no rust on this one, but lots of Camp Kings. I don't know. It's, uh, you get your bottle opener, your flathead, your can opener, your... This is an Imperial. Does Imperial... Are all Camp Kings Imperial? I don't know if I want to even open one of these other ones because I feel like... I feel dirty when I do it. Um, are all Camp Kings Imperials? Yeah, it's an Imperial too. Wonderful. Uh, this, very cheap, thin plastic scales. It is most most notably also a piece of crap. The bale's intact, you know, I guess you have to look at the bright side. Um, this one, this is one of the broken ones in there. Um, we've got, we got, a, we got a cover here and we have no cover here. Uh, we have a shield. Um, oh my God, it's like getting, it's getting like grittier in here. What the fuck is this? We got another Hong Kong stainless. We got two sizes, okay? These are gonna be part of an upcoming giveaway. Oh God, we got a Barlow. We know it's a Barlow because it says Barlow on it. You know, I did a, did a video about Barlows recently and um, it's, this is every bit as Wonderful as that one was, the, the fucking heirloom poop knife. This is an heirloom poop knife, too. And some poop and rust on my hands. All right, we're getting near the end of this thing. This is, this one doesn't look too bad. This is a fish knife. We got a hook remover. I wonder if there's any fish guts still on it. It's my hope there is. This is uh, quite a bit of up and down blade play, side to side blade play. There's some sharp edges there. Um, is this a lockback? God, I feel, oh, it's a, I don't think they call those liner locks, but it's, it's the same thing. What do they call those kind of locks? Somebody just put it in the comments below. I don't want to touch my face. Um, this one, GC Co. I want to say that's GC Co. Japan. I don't know who that is. Sure, somebody does. We got two little blades here. No, we got three little blades. Oh, you're gonna pack them in there. I guess that was for children. You give your children these knives back then. Um, this one, not gonna even open this one. This one is is literally the worst. Oh, God, I regret. I completely regret this. This one has a pheasant. I'm pretty sure that's a pheasant on the side, or is that a quail? Been a long time. Uh, we got a broken tip here. At one point, the we got a, this is an imperial, fine American cutlery. All right, this is hazardous waste on that fucking table. Uh, this one here, we're we're getting down to the last. We got part of the. Uh, we got a broken blade here. Do we have a part of a scale pop off? I don't know what this one is. I don't really care what that one is. This is a plastic scale synthetic stag. This is, <laughs> look at that. It goes all the way around. Uh, 
Hopefully this is a lesson to people to pay attention to what they're bidding on. Premium stock. Is there any more, is there, is there any more an appropriate, uh, call it etching a stamp on a blade than premium stock than for this fucking turd right here? Does this one go all the way back to? No, it's, uh, it's quite a bit of nice scrap metal. Also another Barlow. This one, oh, fuck, I think we got some real saw cut bone covers. This one is a Japan Barlow. This is, uh, got a pen blade there. Okay. And we have one of the scales. Let's see, it's like a little puzzle here, is it? No, nope, it's not that one. We're gonna, we're gonna find it. Where was the broken one? I found it. That'll be worth putting back together, won't it? And let's go to one of these. Oh yeah, it goes to one of the Hong Kong ones. How about that? You get a little, it's like a little puzzle. It's a lock back too. It's like, it's sticky. It's fucking sticky. And this is like a little, this looks like a little crab, a little lobster knife. Remember lobster knife, you know? That's a term that all right, um, so this has been enlightening. I thought this was gonna be a whole lot better uh, than this, and it is a terrible collection of knives, and I would not recommend anybody ever doing that. There's, there's maybe two and a half decent knives here. We have the Uncle Henry, we have the K-Bar. Uh, this Barlow, if I clean this Barlow up, that would be okay. I don't know, this fish knife, we got a fish knife here. Four knives, $20, was it these $20 knives are not $20 knives. What did we learn today? We learned that we shouldn't buy things off eBay. We learned that I wasted my money. We learned that we didn't learn anything today. If you like this sort of content where we learn nothing, we accomplish nothing, and uh, I basically do nothing other than somehow inhale some, I wonder if they made scales out of asbestos back then. We inhaled that and uh, my hands are dirty. I've uh, picked up some, some pretty disgusting uh, germs, some filth. If you like this content, say hi to the patrons. The patrons are right here. They, the patrons pay for my camera gear so I can spend my money on things like this. And thank you, as in 4K, it's probably not gonna look that impressive. I had to shoot it inside and got my couch behind me. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Thanks for watching.